Hey everyone, welcome to our online kids experience happening where? That's right, in your own home. We're so glad you're here joining with us right now, where you are right here, right now for this awesome day. Today, we're gonna find out what our big idea is, play some awesome games and discover a sweet Bible story. And of course, we're gonna do some awesome praise and worship. Hey, you can also have your parents check out the things you can do online during the week. Okay, I need your help. Before we start our praise and worship, it's time to call your mom, your dad, your brother, sister, uncle, cousin, dog, cat, whoever's in the house, call them in the room, hurry up right now. Come on guys, come on in here, hurry in. We're gonna start to do some praise and worship. Okay, looks like we're set and ready to go. On a count of three, let's say, let's go. Ready, one, two, three, let's go. Waking up to another light No more sorrow and no more night You're the light, let it shine now Let it shine now Burning bright cause we're not ashamed Got a world to illuminate You're the light, let it shine now Let it shine now
place you be Wherever I go, you're always there Every time I fall, you catch me And when I hide, you hold me tight And remind me who I am No high, no death Could take us from your love mentioned in our kids service via shout out. Check out some of the shout outs this week. Bum bum bum. Do you see your name? Maybe a friend's name? To get your very own shout out, all you have to do is tag Rust City Church and use our hashtag, Rust City Kids, and we'll do the rest. When you see your hashtag, bam, you'll see your name on the TV shout out. All right, enough jazzy jazz. Let's check out our weekly challenge. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Hey friends, this week's challenge is to dress up in your very own superhero costume. So pull out all your fancy gear and gadgets. Take a photo and hashtag Rossity Kids. You'll earn 50 points for sharing, and we are gonna shout out your name next week. Hey friends, thanks for joining me today for a brand new adventure. Today, we begin a new series called Heart of a Hero. Hey, do you have a favorite superhero? Well, what kind of superheroes are there? Well, let's say the obvious. There's Superman, Iron Man, Wonder Woman, how about Ant-Man, uh, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel? Yeah! Did you know there are also heroes in our own community? Like firefighters, policemen, doctors, nurses, first responders. Wow! Did you know we all can be heroes? That's right, you and me. But hey, what does it take to be a hero? No, not just a hero. How about the ultimate hero? Well, for starters, I think we should probably get some cool superpowers like 
strength, invisibility, or flying. How about communicate with fruit? Yeah. Hey, orange. Orange, you go out and say banana. <laughs> Ooh, what about invisible handwriting? You didn't see anything. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. A ring. Wow, they make snack food. <laughs> yes, this is great. Hey, let's see what your powers are. All right, to find out what powers you have, look for the month you were born. I was born in August, so mine is bubblegum sneezing. Did you get yours? Cool. Achoo! Oh, wow, this is so much fun. With cool superpowers, I think we can accomplish some pretty cool things. Whoa! Oh, guys, it's a villain! We need our protective gear. Yeah, we're ready! No! Now I can block it. See, when we have our protective gear, it helps us protect us. It can be hard to protect yourself without the right gear. What are some things that we need to be protected from in real life that maybe Jesus can help us with? Ah, he can protect us from things we know we shouldn't do. He can protect us from fear, but just because he has the power to protect us doesn't mean everything in our lives will just go perfectly and we won't ever have pain or hard times. For instance, just because you wear a raincoat or carry an umbrella doesn't mean it will never rain. It just means that you have something to protect you from the rain. Even if we experience hard times, we will always have Jesus to give us strength. Man, the world sure is full of obstacles and we have to keep in mind that we need to train daily and stay conditioned to be a superhero. Can't be a weak link in the field of rescuing people. <laughs> so, no friends, we gotta gear up. It's time to be super. Well, one of the most well-known superheroes is Superman, who has super strength and can fly. Let's see if you can fly like Superman. Come on, get up, stretch a little, and let's fly. should probably also test your super strength. On the count of three, let's test your skills and see if you can pass the test of strength. Three, two, one, zero. Quick, grab a mask and put it on. Run! Jolly Beetles, jump! Oh no, a black cat, dodge right. I'm not afraid of cats, you're afraid of cats. Dodge left around that giant space rock. Frozen yogurt, dodge right. Look out, Jasper's bucket. Kick it over. Meatballs, dodge left, now right. My famous onion dip, jump. All this food is making me hungry. Look out for the basketballs, jump. Duck, pick up the pace to run through the portal. Run, faster, faster. Race skateboard, jump. Jump over the pear pad. I cannot afford to fix that screen again. Yikes, a finata. Dodge left. Swat away the bugs. Muffins! Dodge left! Did I mention how hungry I am? Snakes, jump! Ah! Jump, jump! Watch out for that helicopter! Duck! Hmm, jump! Tied to his famous pie! That's my dessert later. Whoa! Yeah! We feel incredible! Friends, did you make it past the test? You know, Supers, having physical strength is good. Having strength from God is even better. 
we're going to learn about how we can get God's strength and power. Let me tell you about someone who helps others like a hero, but who is like any other superhero we know. One of his nicknames is the Good Shepherd. He doesn't wear a cape like Superman or have any cool gadgets like Batman. He doesn't have Iron Man's armor or Black Panther's vibranium suit. But the Good Shepherd is the ultimate hero. His name is... -da 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 -da! Oh no, friends, it's a call to action. Check this out and I'll be back. Hello, superheroes. We're talking about heroes this month. Who's your favorite superhero? Do you like heroes who can fly or who have super strength? Or heroes who can lift trains or jump over tall buildings? There's a hero named Superman who came from another world, but who lived on Earth to help save everyone from evil people. Doesn't this story remind you of how Jesus came to us? Jesus came to Earth and saved people too. Jesus came to do something amazing. The Bible tells us all about it. God knew his people needed help with a problem called sin. Sin is anything we do that we shouldn't do. We can't save ourselves, so we need someone, like a hero, to help us battle sin. God sent his son, Jesus, who was perfect, to come to earth and help people. Jesus died on the cross, even though he was perfect, so God can forgive our sins and we can be closer to him. Jesus didn't just come to die on the cross. He came back to life, and he wants to help us with our sin problem. Jesus came to be like a shepherd. A shepherd is a person who takes care of a flock of sheep. The sheep need someone to guide them and protect them from animals who try to attack them. We are like sheep because we need someone to guide us and protect us. Jesus helps us when we need help. He is our true superhero. Jesus is even better than Batman or Superman. He's strong and powerful, and he's also loving and kind. Jesus is the best superhero ever. Never entangle with the unstoppable force of, oh, friends. I got to use my bubble gum to sticky slap the bad guy. Hey, did you catch that story? I tuned in through my fruit communication. That story was pretty cool. Jesus was sent into this world by God, not to punish us or make us feel bad, but to save us. Do you remember what else they talked about? They talked about sheep, that's right, and shepherds. Shepherds have been an important job for a long time. Here's why. People had groups of sheep, which is called a flock. That's a lot of sheep, friends. And shepherds were people who were in charge of keeping the sheep all together and make sure they stayed really safe. They would protect the flock and lead them. The shepherds knew their sheep and their sheep knew and trusted them. We are like the sheep. We need guided and protected too. What superpower can we have to protect and guide us? Wow, friends, the newspaper's here. Hey, we just received our big idea. Woo! Our big idea is Jesus is our superpower. Hey, that's the answer to our question. Jesus, he is our protector and our shepherd. Yikes! Supers! You should know how every good superhero also has a villain. Well, here's a villain in our story too. The thief is Satan, and he wants to keep us from having a relationship with Jesus. We don't need that to be afraid of that. Jesus came to earth to take on the punishment that we all deserve. He took our place so we can have a relationship with God which would have been impossible to do with sin in the way. He gives us strength. He helps us. He leads us and protects us like the shepherd protects and leads the flock. It's like having power over the enemy. We don't have to worry. He came to rescue us from sin and the enemy so we can live full lives here on earth and live with God in heaven forever. Jesus is the ultimate superhero and he came to earth because he loves us and wants to share his power with us. Hey, since we're talking about sheep, let's see how well you do at being a shepherd. 
find all the sheep before the time runs out. There's 10 sheep total. Ready? Let's go. shepherd is a tough job. Not only do you have to lead the flock of sheep to food and water, they also have to keep them from wandering off and protect them from danger. Shepherds also carried a staff, which is a big stick for times when they needed to get a little tough. They would use it to keep the wolves and other beasts away that wanted to try and eat the sheep. That's crazy! Our Bible tells us that there was a shepherd boy named David who fought off lions and bears with a slingshot. Could you imagine a boy, maybe 13 years old, fighting off wild animals by himself with a slingshot? <sighs> Sounds like a superhero to me. Hmm. We can be thankful to have Jesus protecting us and helping us. You can be strong and a superhero because you have Jesus with you. Hey, our scripture this month says, but those that trust in the Lord will find new strength. Isaiah 40, 31. Do with me, friends. But those that trust in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31. One more time. But those that trust in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31. You guys are awesome. Well. I think we deserve a superhero badge for being so super. Yeah, Jesus is our hero. Air five, Woo! Hey, I think it's time for our final superhero challenge. Let's see out of the items, which is a superhero and which is not. If it survives, then it's definitely gotta be a hero. And if it's not, well, it could have better go back to its day job. Let's go. Will it superhero? Can a ball be a superhero? Let's find out. Can a ball be a superhero? Yes! Can a birthday cake be a superhero? Let's find out. Can a birthday cake be a superhero? Can a bear be a superhero? Come back next week to find out. Well, friends, today has been epic. Remember to stay super by reading your Bible each day and spending some time talking to God. He's a great listener. <laughs> Yikes, friends. Time to beat the bad guys. Snap. Snack food included. Just you wait. Parents. Did you know we developed something special for your kids to stay connected with Rustedy Kid teachers and other kids their age throughout this week? Get your kids plugged into Rust City Zoom parties for kids, where kids will get to talk, learn, and discover more about the lesson with their friends from church. You can head to rustcity.church slash Zoom parties to get signed up. Being connected is so important for our kids and we would love to continue to partner with you and encourage you as a family to stay plugged in throughout this week as well. Staying plugged in to God's word each day is what changes our child's future. We can stay connected at Rust City Kids by signing up for our parent emails. This will give you access to exclusive content, parent tips, encouragement from our kids' pastors, activities, and more. You can go to rustcity.church slash kids and fill out the quick sign-up form. While you're signing up, be sure to check out the parent guide. 
It's loaded with questions, activities for you and your kids to do from home, and continue to develop your child's relationship with God. Check it out now and have an awesome week.